everyone welcome back to my channel today I am unboxing for you guys uh, the starter kit from Mel Science Mel Science actually reached out to me and asked if they could send me the kits for free so that I could unbox them review them use them and then obviously if I liked it put up a video so I have not used these yet in my classroom I'm looking forward to but right now I'm going to unbox it with you and perhaps later on if I do use it in the classroom I will try to record that in class showing how these got used in the room um, Mel Science is um, it's an online company and you can subscribe and you will get monthly kits and you can use it if you're a teacher you can use it if you're just a mom who has kids who like science or maybe it's summer vacation and you want to keep your kids you know on top of things and you don't want that summer slide to happen so you order some Mel Science kits so I'm gonna go ahead and start with unboxing the starter kit uh, apparently this is the kit that comes when you first subscribe you will get the starter kit and I think one of these so we're gonna go ahead and open this up I have not opened these but I will say I took off the um, saran wrap I didn't want to have to sit here and fight with it on camera so I took off all the saran wrap and now we will see what's inside here all right in the first box it's jam-packed full of things I find right off the bat the periodic table of the elements and then you have a booklet and inside it says welcome to the exciting world of chemistry safety before you start so basically it's instruction manuals why learn chemistry experiment cards general guidelines so any information you could possibly have will be addressed in the booklet and then you get a tray there's a bunch of small plastic cups these look to be about oh three ounces and you get one two three four. there's about 18 of these here Oh wow, and they actually send you a real glass beaker. That's awesome. Also in here, you have a funnel and you get a like another science beaker. Okay, I love I love the beakers right off the bat. This this is the nerd in me coming out. I love the science beakers. In here, you have All right, this looks like not sure what this is just yet. It does something. Hmm. Oh! Alright, it comes apart for one. And this looks to be a lens. So I'm not sure what we do with the lens, but this screws on and off. I will have to find out more about this. Alright, for now I'll just leave that right there. Okay. There's this cork coaster. Alright, this looks like you get two cork coasters, and apparently these go on here. You get a very large shringe. And this. Oh! I think I know what this is. This is a Bunsen burner, or... Okay, I'm not sure how to open it right off the bat. Maybe I should have played with this a little bit more before I went on camera to start doing it. Aha! So it opens up. Alright, and I think then this would go up here. The coaster under it. Right. You get two pairs of safety goggles. Not sure what this is. Oh, looks almost like a picture frame holder. And then there are these stoppers, which are fit in this beaker right here. And that is everything in the starter kit. So this is probably all items that would be necessary for the other kits as they arrive. 
And I do think you get one of these the same day you get the starter kit. I am just going to slide all of this out of the way. And now I'm going to move on to this one. This is, let's see, what is this one? Tin chemistry set. Hmm. It doesn't say what this one does. So we're just going to open it up. Okay. All right, so here we go. You have cards inside. And this says, Tin Dentrite. Metal trees grow before your very eyes. That's one of the activities. And then a zinc pellet turns into a hedgehog. Oh, that sounds cool. I'm going to let these zoom in on the picture here. There's the first one. And the hedgehog looks really awesome. And on the back of the cards are step-by-step -step instructions how to perform this set. And then in here you have a battery supply case with wires, safety gloves, that's cool, plastic stoppers, uh, small petri dishes, and then all of your chemicals. Okay. Sodium hydro hydrogen sulfate, tin chloride, and you get several of them. So you can do multiple experiments. Whoop. So they give you five packets of these. Um, and now if I were doing this in the classroom, I don't know if I would do, because I actually have five tables in my room, so in, theoretically I could have one of these going at every table, but because I'm new to Bell Science and I don't know how this is going to work, and because I only have two pairs of safety goggles as opposed to you know a classroom set, odds are I would probably model this and have the kids kind of surrounding me while I was doing this or maybe I would have one or two of my responsible students doing this while I was standing very close by to supervise because I'm not entirely sure what these would do. Finally you also have uh, battery clamps and I'm sure this goes with this. So obviously you're going to do some kind of electrical reaction to cause the tin and these um, ingredients to react. Okay. I gotta tell you, this is pretty cool. I'm actually really excited to do these now. I may have to take these to school like right away and do them. And then here's a larger picture of the hedgehog that a little piece of tin is supposed to turn into. So that is pretty wicked looking. I think my, my students would be really awed by any of this stuff. The second kit is called Chemistry of Monsters, and let's take a look and see what this one does. Now I am noticing on the box that it does say 12 plus. I teach fourth grade. My students are 9 and 10 years old. So right off the bat, this tells me that this is definitely a project I'm modeling to my students. It is not necessarily one they are doing themselves. And I'm noticing this one also says 10, 12 and up. So probably a little advanced for my students, so I would definitely be touching and holding the chemicals. All right, this time, first one here is burning sugar. Sugar doesn't burn easily. Simply add ash to set it alight. And this is one that uses the little Bunsen burner. And here's what burning sugar looks like. And then, oh, a sugar snake. A black snake grows out of a pile of sugar and baking soda. This reminds me of those old fireworks where it's like a, a black circle disc and you set it on fire and that big snake grows out of it. And this is also a Bunsen burner activity. So yeah, you're gonna have a lit open flame in the classroom. Definitely, definitely teacher's modeling. In here you also have not sure what these papers are for. Uh, sheets of aluminum foil. And then you have, oh boy, that is a mouthful. Hexamethylene tetramine. And then sodium hydrogen carbonate, which is baking soda. And again, you have several packets of it. And then you have a little scooping spoon. And something else I am not sure if what's for. And then it says in here, before you start, 
here is your step-by-step -step directions how to use these items. So this, which I wasn't sure what it was for, is actually designed to hold up your directions card during the activity. So that's what that is. I said it looked like a picture frame. It holds up the card. And then here are your directions for how to assemble the little burner and how to label things and opening the bottles. Oh, there's one more thing in here. A little teeny tiny, I'm guessing this is a stir because it's not a spoon at the end, but it's more of a little ball. So that is everything that came in the kits. There's one more thing in here, and this is a VR headset. Okay, how does this work? It slides out. Oh, I think. This is virtual reality. This is. You stick your phone in here. Okay, this is like Google Glass. Or not Google Glass, but um. I've seen these where you put your phone in here, you go to certain videos. And you can watch things as virtual reality. I don't know how good these are. I would have to test this out. And I'm not going to do that on film. Because I'm not sure what the results are going to be. But oh, that's actually really exciting. I'll have to uh, find a roller coaster video later. And have the boys, my boy AJ and Casey, play with this. And like see how they react. Because I've seen some funny YouTube videos of people with virtual reality and falling down and all kinds of silliness. So I will definitely have the boys play with these later. That is awesome. I know my students would have fun with this too. That is everything in the Mel Science Starter Kit. Uh, I gotta say, I'm impressed. I will be sure to link all the information like the website and prices down in the description box below. But the quality, I'm really, really, you know, honestly, most places would just send plastic. Everything would be really cheap and chintzy. Nothing about this is cheap at all. So I am really, really impressed with what came. And I think this is amazing. And I know my students are going to love this when I start setting things on fire in the classroom. So with that, I am going to wrap up today's video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to find out more about Mel Science, check the description box below. And I will talk to you guys later. 